In this training video, we're going to look at grouping worksheets in Microsoft Excel. So what this means, if worksheets are set up in the same way of working, so we've got 3D January here, we've got the heading Fitness across to Average Sales, we've got sales reps names Smith to Adams, and we've got some information from Fitness to Net Profit and blank areas for totals. Well, if I look at the 3D Jan February, it's the same, same four reps, different information, but the same setup. 3D March, again, same four sales reps, different information, but the same setup. So if this is the case and you've got many, many worksheets with the same setup and you wanted to make a change, because what, what I want to do here is work at all the calculations for the totals, the averages and the percentage of fitness against total sales. So I want to do some calculations, but I don't want to do it three times because I don't want to do it for January, then have to do it for February again, and then have to do it for March again because they're entirely the same worksheets with different information. So I want to do it once to apply to all three of them. You can do this by grouping worksheets together. So this is what we'll do here. So with 3D January selected as a worksheet, I'm now going to hold the shift key down and click on 3D March. Now this puts you into group mode. So you can see the worksheets go white down the bottom. And if you ever see white, that means group mode. So that means whatever you do to one, you do to all three of them in this example. So I'm now going to put some calculations in for 3D January, and then this will apply then for 3D February and 3D March. So I'm going to highlight up to net profit. I'm going to do an auto sum. Then I want the average. I'll use the average function here. And I want the average of fitness across to outdoor. And I'll pull the average down. I don't want the total average, that doesn't make much sense. And I'll have the percentage of total sales in this fitness. So here's fitness, here's total sales, there's fitness divided by total sales. So equals the fitness for the sales rep divided by the total sales. Enter, and I'm going to copy it down. So that's completed all the calculations for 3D January, and I'm going to leave the the merge at the top highlighted. So this now completes all the update for January with the formulas, percentages, averages. Well, because it's grouped with 3D February and 3D March, this means these worksheets have also been, been completed. Now to ungroup to check the other worksheets, you can just right click on, on the worksheet, any of the worksheets which are grouped. So I'm going to right click on 3D January and I can see it says ungroup at the bottom. So ungroup takes you back to standard use of Excel where you're not in group mode. So I'm going to choose ungroup. The white goes away, you get the gray standard worksheet look back. So I'm going to check 3D February now and we can see all completed and 3D March all completed. So it's a very, very quick way of working if you've got multiple worksheets which are all set up the same and then you want to produce some information or apply some information to however many worksheets you want to apply it to. So in this case, we applied it to three. There could be a situation where, we, where there might be 20 worksheets, which, which are all set up the same. So instead of you repeating it over and over 20 times by grouping, whatever you do to one, you do to the whole lot. This completes the training video on grouping worksheets together, putting information in, seeing the change and then also ungrouping worksheets. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.